For Action News, I'm Anna Dulosky. Recent statements from the World Health Organization, the American Heart Association, and the CDC are warning smokers not to try e-cigarettes, spreading false concerns about secondhand vapor. As you can imagine, we at AXA are furious with this intent to keep smokers smoking and away from the most beneficial new technology for helping them quit. E-cigarettes help smokers get the nicotine they crave without all the toxic chemicals in cigarette combustion. The device is safe and it works. And yet the World Health Organization claims e-cigarettes are a threat to public health, but the statement has no evidence to support it, ignoring the large number of people who are using them to cut down or quit smoking completely. Aksha's Dr. Gilbert Ross has more. There seems to be some sort of vast uh, official conspiracy uh, globally uh, to impede progress uh, in this uh, groundbreaking uh, uh, technology known as e-cigarettes or, or e-vapor products, uh, which seem to be, uh, via common sense and by empirical observation, uh, the most effective and uh, beneficial mechanism to come down the pike uh, ever to help smokers quit. Smoking, cigarette smoking, although as the World Health Organization and the CDC and the FDA and everybody in officialdom calls it tobacco. Tobacco use is the most devastating, preventable cause of death and disease uh, in, around the world. The numbers from Africa and Asia are not even tallied, but in the West, Europe and America, it's, it's a horrendous problem. Uh, 480,000 die from smoking-related disease, and uh, 10 to 20 times that number have uh, uh, relatively crippling uh, smoking-related diseases. So now we have e-cigarettes, which have very few chemicals. A uh, fairly potent uh, delivery of nicotine, and uh, uh, the ritual mechanisms of smoking are, are reproduced pretty well. And uh, millions and millions of uh, of smokers have become ex-smokers uh, by uh, uh, switching to vaping, which is what it's. The World Health Organization has just issued a new report on e-cigarettes, and they have in their report all sorts of nonsense, baseless allegations about e-cigarettes, which are based on absolutely no study and no science and, and no common sense. Worse than that, actually, if you look at their Twitter feed, they have people at the WHO who are spewing all kinds of, uh, it's like they just make this stuff up and it goes out on, on the uh, Twitter feed, uh, defaming and, uh, and, and, and stigmatizing e-cigarettes and the people who use them. and. Uh, it's really so inappropriate, it doesn't even rise to the level of, 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 of a scientific critique. Also this week, the American Heart Association re released their revised approach to e-cigarettes, which uh, made an incremental improvement in their generally uh, devastating attack on, on harm-reduced products in e-cigarettes. They have now come to the conclusion, based on their review of the evidence, which clearly shows that the uh, benefits far outweigh the risk, that they no longer advise uh, doctors not to recommend e-cigarettes at all for anyone, anytime. They now are going to allow clinicians to uh, advise their uh, smoking patients that if they've used every other FDA-approved product and cannot quit, that maybe they, it's okay that they try e-cigarettes. So we applaud them for that, but the 98% of the uh, report is, uh, is complete tripe. The forces of big pharma and big tobacco who don't like the vapor products, they want to keep everybody using cigalikes or, of course, smoking cigarettes, uh, and big government, which loves those cigarette taxes. And uh, when more people quit smoking, tax receipts go down from uh, cigarettes. These are the forces arrayed against the progress of e-cigarettes and vapor products to help smokers quit. In other words, what I'm saying is, if I can be uh, uh, simple, that uh, governments, and politicians, uh, pharmaceutical companies, and big tobacco doesn't, uh, doesn't care about sacrificing smokers' lives in order to protect their own uh, interests, their own self-interest, mostly in the form of uh, money. And uh, that's sad. I guess I shouldn't uh, be surprised that, uh, that, that this is going on, but it's very disappointing to see official public health organizations like the CDC and the FDA uh, 
sacrificing uh, uh, the best interests of public health in order to uh, preserve their own uh, bailiwicks, so to speak. And this should be roundly condemned. And I hope that uh, these people will be held to account someday when, uh, when all of the uh, facts are, are made known. To read more on this story and others, you can head to our website, action.org. And while you're there, don't forget to also sign up for your daily dose of news delivered straight to your inbox. For Action News, I'm Ana Dlosky.